What's happening, people? Back with another reaction. Back with another Deep Tronica tune, aka a Vince Clark project from 2009. And indeed, the first couple tunes I've heard definitely have a mixture of electronica sounds with deeper down tempo type of rhythms, maybe a bit of trip hop. So, yeah, I've enjoyed the first couple looking forward to this one, which is called Gravitational Pull. Obviously, that's a concept in physics, and when something has more mass, it has a greater gravitational field, which can draw other things toward it. So, whether we're talking more literally, and I don't imagine there will be much talking, but that would refer to physical bodies in space and time, of course. And more conceptually or figuratively, it could relate to the gravitational pull that certain people have or that certain situations have. So again, I don't imagine there to be lyrics per se, maybe some samples, maybe some lines, but yeah, I would imagine it will be expressed more through the sonic character of the track. Let's hear it. This is Vince Clark as Deep Tronica and the tune is called Gravitational Pull. <laughs> Shout out to Han Solo for not only bringing this to my attention, but sharing it with me. Number two, this is maybe the coolest music conceptually that I've heard Vince make. Don't get me wrong, I love Yazoo, I love the first Depeche Mode album, I very much enjoy a lot of the Erasure catalog I've heard. But this is something else, and indeed, the VCMG stuff, as someone who's big into techno, is also cool. But this is crazy, and I mentioned, I know, on at least one of the first two, maybe both of the first two from this album, that this is the kind of stuff I use in my ambient excursion mixes. My only caveat or asterisk there is that the tunes seem to be shorter. I think that can't be like more than three minutes. Uh, indeed, it was under three minutes, like 2.40. Um, so it's a bit different because a lot of the Sibiant tunes I use in those ambient excursion mixes are like six, seven, eight, sometimes like 10 or 11 minutes long. And these are more choice selections, like a quick soundscape and a percussive groove. And then, you know, presumably just moving right into the next one. It's more of like a mixed CD, um, even if I don't think it's properly a mixed CD, whereas you know, literally the tracks are you know, mixed the way I would as a DJ. 
Um, but even so, it feels like it, it gives you a flavor of something and then moves on quickly to the next scene. Nevertheless, it is absolutely that type of down-tempo, electronica, like, chill-gressive, as it's sometimes called, because some of the tracks have, like, a progressive trance sort of feel, but they're down-tempo and they're more chill in their atmosphere. Um, but I love it. I love the, the synth-string type of backing um, melodies that we heard. There was that one more, like you know, key melodic rhythm that would go high on the, like, third part of it. I enjoyed that a lot. And when that steep synth bass came in, it was my favorite part, and it came back around one more time as well. And that, all of it together, not only sounds like the ambient or sibient that I use in my ambient excursion mixes, but it reminds me of something that you could have heard in a Carl Sagan Cosmos episode, and, you know, maybe a Neil deGrasse Tyson Cosmos episode. It really has that let's go into space and explore planets and check out galaxies beyond our own. It really has that type of feel. You could hear Sagan's voice coming over some of the parts there, which, again, at some point I really will have to use these tunes in my ambient excursions, even if they're shorter than a typical track there. So, very cool. Absolutely loving this. I will try to keep going through the album. Shout out the solo, not only for sharing the music, but for the patience. Let me know what you think, and I will see you next time. Peace.